Today, I will introduce you to Elsevier's Clinical Key, a clinical reference solution designed to meet the needs of clinicians, medical students, and other healthcare professionals. In this short introductory video, I will be showing you some of the basic features of Clinical Key, including how to create a personal account and set up remote access, basic and advanced searching and browsing, including how to download full text PDFs and books and journals, how to export full resolution images with their citations, how to view a log of your time spent researching on Clinical Key in order to claim CME or CPD credits, and how to access Clinical Key on a mobile device and the Clinical Key app. To access Clinical Key, go to www.clinicalkey.com.au directly from your browser. You will come to the Clinical Key homepage and you will see that it is divided into two main sections, a search bar at the top and a browse menu underneath. News, updates and other information appears below these sections. At the top is a menu bar to sign in or create a personal account. For most users, Clinical Key can be used on-site at your institution without the need to have a personal account. However, if you wish to utilise the full benefits of Clinical Key, a personal account is recommended. A lot of these benefits are personalisation features that you would associate with an individual account. For example, the ability to save your searches. However, two benefits to specifically highlight are the ability to download, download book chapter PDFs and the ability to access Clinical Key remotely, which includes on mobile devices. To create a personal account, simply click on Register from the Clinical Key homepage, then enter a few simple details. Enter your first name, your last name, then enter your email address. You should use your institutional email address where possible, and then create a password. Finally, accept the terms and conditions and click register. If you wish to use Clinical Key outside of your institution, for example, at home or on your mobile device, then you will also need to activate remote access. To do this, after you've logged into Clinical Key, click on your name at the top right, and then click on remote access from the menu. Enter your institutional email address in the space provided, and note that this has to be an email address approved by your institution. General email are provided, such as Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo will not work. After you have submitted, you will receive an email, as shown, with an activation link. Click on the link and your remote access will be set up. Clinical Key has a smart search function with a medical ontology engine behind it. You can search by a keyword or complex phrase, and the search understands acronyms, synonyms, related surgical procedures, and drugs. Starting with a simple search, we're going to type in type 2 diabetes. As you can see, Clinical Key also suggests as you type. The results page is divided into three areas. On the left-hand side are filters, the middle of the results, and the right-hand side is flexible depending on the search terms, in this case, clinical overview. There are more than 25,000 results with such a broad search term, so let's try and reduce this number by adding some filters. I'm going to filter down by selecting content that's only found in books and now adding a speciality, in this case, pediatrics. I'm also now going to limit the results to content published in the last six months. As you can see, the number of results is much more manageable at five. When you have found a result of interest, simply click on the title to open the full text book chapter. Clinical Key displays the text and images optimized for on-screen viewing. The text will automatically adjust depending on your screen size and also the device that you are viewing on. Another way to search in Clinical Key is to use natural language and ask Clinical Key a question. Here, we're going to pre-filter results to just journal articles and then ask the question, what are the cardiovascular complications of type 2 diabetes treatment? Notice, as we pre-filtered and be much more specific in our search, the number of results is much more focused than in the broad basic search. 
as before, once you have found a result of interest, click to view the full text. If you prefer to view the article as it was originally published, or you wish to save a copy for offline reading or printing, you can click on the PDF icon at the top of the page. This opens a PDF, which you are able then to print or save to your own machine. As well as search, you are also able to browse content. This is useful if you know the book or journal you require upfront. For example, from the Clinical Key homepage, I can click on Books, Browse Books, and you will get an alphabetical list of all books in Clinical Key. You can search or filter by typing in a few letters of the book title here, and in this case, Understanding the Australian Healthcare System. The table of contents opens, and you are able to select the chapter of interest to open as full text. As before, should you wish to open the PDF version, you can click on the PDF icon and this will open in a separate window. With Clinical Key, it is possible to export high resolution images with citations using the presentation. Note that you will need a personal account to be able to do this. So, say you have found an image you wish to use in a book chapter or journal article. You can click on the image to open it. You now have a number of options. You can save the image and make it a favorite. You can add it to a presentation, which we'll explain in a moment. You can email the link to a colleague and you can print the image. We're going to add it to a presentation. Clicking on the icon, you will see that there are a number of presentations existing in the account, but none are relevant to the image. So we are going to create a new presentation called Hip Replacement add this image to it. You can then go back and search for other relevant images. When you have found something relevant, you can now add this image to the hip replacement presentation we have just created. When you are ready, you can view all of your presentations either by clicking as shown here, or under your name, there is a presentation drop down. To open images in PowerPoint, simply click on the export button. Once in PowerPoint, images can be resized and copied and pasted into your own presentations. With Clinical Key, you have the ability to track time spent carrying out research and reading in order to claim CME or CPD points. Note that you will need a personal account to be able to do this. If you click your name on the Clinical Key homepage, you will see the CME option. Clicking on this brings up the CME dashboard. Clinical Key logs time spent researching, and this can be viewed by clicking here on the potential link, potential time link. You can use or print out this log to assist when claiming CME points as part of self-assessment. Alternatively, you can submit the time in the clinical key and print out a certificate. Clinical key is easily accessible on mobile devices. Note, you will need a personal account to be able to do this. There are two ways to use clinical key on mobile. The first is to go to clinicalkey.com.au from your phone browser. The website that opens is exactly the same as the desktop version, with the view being optimized for smaller screens. You can browse and search for content in exactly the same way as the desktop version. For example, you can use the browse feature to browse to a book and open a specific chapter to view the content. The second way is to download the Clinical Key app, which is available free of charge from the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. The advantage of the app is that it places Clinical Key on your home screen for ease of access. And once you have logged in for the first time, you do not need to keep on repeating this process every time you open the app. As you can see, the app looks slightly different to the mobile website, but it has exactly the same functionality. 
For example, you can perform a search and open a journal article of interest from the search results page. As before, Clinical Key opens the journal article with text optimized as on screen reading. However, should you wish to download the PDF, you are able to do so on your phone. This concludes the basic introduction to Clinical Key. For further help, including frequently asked questions and technical support, please visit the Clinical Key Support Centre, accessible from the homepage. You can also contact your local client executive, customer engagement or product manager for additional support. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.